scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Growth and, um, and development, whether it is spiritual, whether it is physical, any process that has to do with the transition of a man from one realm to another never occurs by default. Please take note. This, this is just to establish something before we get to the word. That means that it is not possible. Physics tells us that our work on earth tells us that, that the only thing that grows automatically is your age every other thing must be engaged to grow you don't have to do anything to add to your age once you are alive and the time comes the year recycles you are plus one ready or not but every other thing your spiritual life please listen your relevance your understanding your transformation every other dimension of your life must be engaged for growth to be possible that means that if this gentleman becomes a higher and a better version of himself you cannot say it happened by mistake are we together if Saul becomes Paul and is mightily used by God it's not just that God chose him uh -uh. that growth and that transition happened because he engaged certain truths i will continue to drum it in this house why because you see the principles that make for growth for impact and for success are finite please understand this the principles that make for growth for impact and for success are finite they are principles you can piece together and say these are the keys that make for it it is our pursuit of god and our pursuit of knowing him that is infinite are you getting what i'm saying now we will never exhaust the knowledge of god but as far as the principles that make for kingdom relevance that make for our usefulness the principles are finite this should be good news for someone because it then means that i can allocate time and know these things so that the only thing that remains in my life is seeking and knowing god no longer learning principles a time should come in your life where your entire time is spent in fellowship and growth with god not trying to be sure whether this is the key to this and that no and this is what by the grace of god god is helping us achieve in this place if you believe that the principles of the kingdom are haphazard or they are so infinite are we together the principles that make for our relevance as far as this dispensation is concerned please listen to me they are captured in this truth 
and they are finite they are finite that means that you can collect them that body of information and study them and know that as far as these dimensions are concerned god has helped you it is not when you will or if you will arrive is when you will arrive at that point your life is reduced to worship and praise your learning is god your subject is god not prosperity are we together not how to parent children not how to succeed not how to engage restoration not how to speak peace it's a cause if your entire life is spent trying to learn these things because god as a subject is worth your lifetime all of these auxiliary things about god that we study is to be able to give us the convenience to clear these distractions so that we can now focus ourselves on him and his glory are you getting what i'm saying now yes. you will never be able to centralize your pursuit on god and him alone when there are all kinds of distractions in your life children here different things happening in your life and you don't know what spiritual law to engage it will distract you all these things are the things around god they are not god they are his ways my phone is not me it's around me you can learn how to use my phone it doesn't mean you know me are we together now so we must trust god for grace accelerated grace to be able to capture these things establish their results in our lives and then you are reduced to a point where as far as your personal work is concerned it is god only god ever are we together it was a preacher that taught us he says of reading many books there is no end and he says much learning is a weariness to the flesh then he says this is the conclusion of the matter fear god and keep his commands he said this is the whole duty of man let him that glory yet glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me not that he bought a car not that he bought a house are we together not that he raised children well all of these things are important but let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, you must trust God for grace and quick understanding. Isaiah 11 and verse 2. Quick understanding. You can understand late. It's still not a blessing. Understanding will bless you if it is quick. Because everything in life is time tagged. You don't have all the time. Spending all my life learning about money learning about greatness learning about leadership as important as those things are you will find out that nothing will be left to really seek god if our generation does not learn this we will be a generation full of principles and no encounter we will have principles of a b and i teach you principles all the time but the principles are supposed to help you stabilize so that you reduce yourself back to the point where you are no longer bothered about what to eat what to wear how to be great the principles are finite now you can focus on him he becomes your object he becomes your pursuit he becomes your everything this is the place of power this is the place of true relevance because let me tell you this everything in your life minus the knowledge of god will still leave that vacuum you know many people think that the moment you make a lot of money or you become very famous or you become all of these things minus god you will still be able to go around because we say those in the world there are people who don't love god and yet they are rich you need to hear their honest confession to see how irritating life can be without God. God designed man to be frustrated without him. 
is his design is part of his intelligence he designed it to be impossible to be fully fulfilled if he's not in that factor that equation so when someone tells you i'm doing well without god that person is a liar i'm telling you it's only a matter of time riches can deceive they are important you see how many of you have seen little children and you buy a bicycle for your child your child will enjoy that bicycle even the injury will not matter but two weeks later you see that bicycle in the rain he has exhausted it and it's all right that's how life is without god you can get a certificate and be happy and after five years the same thing you laughed at you now hate it because it seemed not to give you what you thought it would produce then you turn your pursuit to something else finance and then you press through and make all the money and ignore god and then for a while you are happy because you are buying properties and you can now be at the priority level of living and then very soon you will find out that things cannot be god hmm. are you getting what i'm saying now please listen then you can choose to replace things with people like a husband like a wife like children like physical earthly relationships and they will bless you for a long time except for the fact that the jealousy of god preserved a dimension only his size can feel no matter what else in your life you bring i tell you this it will take time but you will know that life without god is not living you're all i want You're all I ever needed. You're all I want. Help me know you are me. Listen, let me tell you how God trains us. When you start your spiritual journey, it is God then when you know a bit about him he will help you to know his ways and the end of your life should be like the beginning back to god so it is god but then he gives you the things that pertain to life him godliness but he knows that somewhere along the line your children need to go to school you need to eat so he will delve from him he's still there but the focus for many years will be his ways and many times we, for, we forget that his ways is not the ultimate. You search the scriptures. For in them you think you will find life. And you will not come to me. Say the scriptures testify. A way leads to somewhere. So when all is said and done with the cars and the fame and the accolades and everything. God says I kept my part five years of your life i didn't bother you so much again here and there you had encounters but now that you know my ways now that you are not thinking about money again now that you know what it takes to raise your children can i have my time back and he said lord i became famous on my way and i found out that my fame is better than this 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 me and you i i started in innocence but as i continued i found out that there was fame on the way and now i'm no longer interested in you that's what happens to a lot of people even learning the ways of god as the ultimate pursuit is still not the perfect strategy the ways of god are important but at the back of your heart please hear me the end of your spiritual journey must still be the way you started in the beginning god in the end god that's what it means to be alpha omega so right now we are in a season where you no longer may be having the dreams you used to have again remember those times it was not about principle or anything you were not seeing any attack it was just all of those encounters and it seems to be suspended for a while to allow you to be relevant within the context of your it's not backsliding 
he's showing you his ways sometimes some of you will still go back and say lord i want it before he says i know i'm waiting for you at the other side so that means if you focus on knowing his ways is proof that you really want to meet him fast so that you will finish with these matters and it will give you room to say lord i'm done i didn't know that i can be established fast by the grace of god i do not have to cry for what to eat again i'm not coming to you complaining about an attack i've conquered that i found the keys that give me victory lord i am here with you for fellowship what do you want son you you give me you everything else can wait give me you i hope i'm not too late lord give me you lord give me you lord give me you lord, It is not only being an unbeliever that can keep you away from God. Lack of quick understanding can keep you away from God. You will be close to him, but not with him. You are around him learning everything. Imagine that I come to your house and all I keep doing is going to your kitchen. I can eat your yam. It's your yam, but it's not you. I can go and use your restroom. I can even drive your car. I will leave your house saying I met you. It's a lie. I didn't meet you. I met the things around you. Those things are called conveniences. When you go to see a guest, you don't go there to eat. But then in seeing that guest, sometimes before he arrives, they will serve you. Does it happen to you? They will say, okay, this, what would you like? Sometimes they will even call you to a table. If you get carried away by the buffet and you sit there and forget that there is a meeting, you spent three hours there. It was just supposed to solve your problem. So that when you spend that time seeing him, hunger will not distract your concentration. God knows that it's better to serve him in your house than a rented apartment. So in as much as you start there, you say, son, let me show you my ways. Not to compete you with Bill Gates. It's a foolish agenda. It's a purposeless, kingdomless agenda. There is no glory to God competing with Bill Gates. Well, that's not your assignment. Your assignment is to rise to a point where the ways of God are mastered so that you reduce sky. Look, my brothers and my sisters, listen to what I'm teaching you. The ways of God are powerful, but if you stay there, you will not know God. And at the end of it, you will live your life in a void that will frustrate you. I asked for children, you gave me children. I asked for a job, you gave me a job. Listen, I asked for promotion, you gave me promotion. I asked to be a celebrity and you took me to the nations. I asked for money, you gave me money. I asked for dollars, you gave me dollars. I asked for revelation, you gave me revelation. Listen, I asked for word of knowledge, you gave me. I asked for miracle power you gave me. And then after all of that, God steps back, different from everything you've had, and say, I'm still here. And many times we say, Lord, do I really need you again? Do I need you? Whatever I cannot do, I can outsource. I have the influence. And God stands back and says, was this all I meant to you? Yes, it is true that I am the way, but I am not only the way. The way is how you start. It should lead you to life. It's a person. The passion with which many people and the slow rate of spiritual transformation is becoming dangerous. It's one thing to be in ignorance, but it's another thing to transit slowly. Time is running and time is fixed. The next 20 years of your life, if you are still learning what you are learning now, it's no longer a blessing. Imagine a man of 45 years in primary school. Say, I can make it. There's, yes, you can make it. There's nobody that says you cannot make it. 
but you will be sleeping while they are teaching because your body does not expect you to be at that level while they are teaching the children spell uh, this and that and that you will be a nuisance to the people and it will not be your fault let me tell you this the prayer for speed is a real prayer most believers pray for speed because they have a passion to make a statement either to loved ones let people in my family know i am this as good as that is it's not a very valid reason speed that god can establish a man early 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 what is the purpose of delay something an effect on your time not you your time i hope you realize that all satan is really interested in is your time hmm. so he uses you to do something to your time are we together the ways of god are very important but the ways of god is not god in the beginning god in the beginning god i am alpha omega why am i sharing this because we are in the face of our lives now when we should focus on learning the ways of god first please hear what i'm saying there are many believers who think that every time we teach on the principles of the kingdom it should be encounters all the way no you'll be frustrated the matters that pertain unto life will hit you and will derail you no matter who you are it's not something you can do anything against you may be wicked to yourself but when you watch your children ask you questions you cannot answer it will dry down your life you see a lot of people will tell you in 1995 i was the prayer secretary of so 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 fellowship and right now the person is not even born again he said god was not there for me i served god but now when it had to do with god blessing my own family he left me and god said no you didn't understand the sequence it starts with me then at a point i step back to let you learn my ways so that you can obtain the things that need to give you the freedom and the liberty to return back to me occasionally these things can distract you that's why retreats are powerful because they take you back and that presence and that atmosphere once again god says i'm still here woe betides a man who spends his whole life chasing things 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 to look for a car for a lifetime is not an achievement that at the end of your life if i say what did you get i have five estates 21 degrees 30 children, 8 wives, chieftaincy titles, traveled around the nation, and God is just waiting for his name, and he's not in the equation of your destiny. That's what many of our loved ones did. They started with God, but when God was calling them to learn his ways, they thought it was the devil. And they casted God away and said, Lord, I will keep learning your ways. And hunger forced them to leave God. To get back to learn his ways. And the spirit of revelation was not there. And so their pace is slow. And right now they've been 40 years trying to learn how to be rich. 40 years trying to learn how to be leaders. 40 years trying to learn how to be great. So when you say, let's, let's spend time worshiping God. Let's spend six hours praying. The person looks at you and says, are you stupid? Six hours praying. What am I telling God? All that I've been telling him, is he not listening to? It doesn't make sense to invest that kind of time when you are hungry. When you are starting out, God will allow it for a reason. You notice how great ministries start. They usually start with these moments of encounter. That's how we started. You understand? God will not tell you anything about money, marriage, children, prosperity, increase, influence, ministry, ethics, greatness. Leave all of that. It's just him. People coming back with dreams, visions of heaven, encounter, and so on and so forth. But where many people miss it 
is they do not sustain the intelligence to observe the transitions. Listen, prayer groups, listen, ministries, listen. This is where we miss it. Because many times we think just because God is the object of the pursuit, when he now tells you, start learning my ways, sometimes you can say, Lord, I don't need it because of the excellency of his presence and he understands. That's why how you are mentored matters. There is a pattern of growth. This is what is happening to some of us right now. You got born again since 95. And the only thing in your life now is that you know God. Right now, you are not even sure you know God again. Why? Because you suddenly discovered that while you were serving God, when you started, somebody was giving you a harvest, whether you sowed a seed or not. And now you've been left alone. The reality of being the breadwinner of your family will not even allow you to spend time with God. And Satan likes it so. That's why you hear people say, I used to be on fire before I got married. And this foolish husband or this stupid wife that I've married is the reason why I no longer can love God. No. You used to spend time worshipping God, but now you have to dedicate 10 years of your life giving birth to children. 10 years is not 2 days. 10 years taking care of the children. You just sense that presence you used to send when you were in secondary school. And here's your baby crying too with the presence. And God says, attend to the baby. Oh Lord, but that sweet face, mm -mm, attend to the baby. If you attend fast, you will have time with me. But if you, if you pay the price and leave that baby, he will force you to leave me tomorrow. Listen to me. It is not error when God switches you to learn his ways. Hear me. Hear me, believers. It is not error when God just, he does not take himself out of your life, but he focuses you on his ways to say, learn this. You need it. You need it for your daily bread. You will encounter things that will bring delay in your life. So my son, buy a book on restoration. Add it to your spiritual archives. You will need it tomorrow. You will be attacked by the devil. You must learn the principles of warfare. And for four months, all you who all is just worship and God says, you will not even get a new song as a worshiper. Worshiper. Four months, no new song. And God is teaching you on warfare. And the devil can say, I hope you are not backsliding. God says, no, the songs will come when you give me time. But for now, is it not with money you will buy the keyboard? Learn what will help you set up the studio and you can lie down there alone without a landlord knocking your door. So Satan comes as an angel of light and says, have you stopped seeking God to seek things and that guilt will turn you back and time is going. I am telling you that voice that looks spiritual is Satan masquerading as an angel of light using the regalia of religion to stop you from learning the ways of God. Many of us would have been better spiritually now but because sincerely so, you wanted to seek God but you just, I, I, this business seminar and business seminar or prayer retreat, choose one is a prayer retreat. The Holy Spirit said go there for the business. But Lord I'm used to spending time at the back of my, my house. Is this not backsliding? And he says no, I'm the one guiding you. And sometimes religion will draw you away. And then when those who were in that business session are now rolling on the floor, you will be around trying to look for who to help you. And your wife looks at you and says, what kind of God did you serve? That's the question many people are asking in our families. You were a reverend for 30 years. How did God work with you that your life is such a failure? And the result is to blame God. This is what we say. Lord, you failed me. Lord, you failed me. I spent 20 years giving my life for you. 20 years. So you begin to love God and worship God every day. And then sooner or later, all those visions of the presence begin to diminish. And then God begins to say, sweetheart, it's time for you to start learning how to be a wife and a mother. Lord, let, let carnal things not distract me. I need your presence. God says, yes, he's a gentle spirit. But don't forget that you are going to get married. Learn the principles. And you say, no, 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 no. I don't need to. 
Your presence will give me everything. Say, yes, it's my presence that is now recommending my ways to learn. And that person will be a worshiper and a prayer warrior for many years until marriage comes. Then she gets married and the man returns by six o'clock. Sweetheart, where are you? And there's a song playing in the other room. And then the man says, what are you doing? Say, his presence. That's, that's, all, that's all I desire. So why did you marry me? Listen carefully. And then you now say, this man is a devil. He's out to destroy my life. And Satan says, thank you for giving me a jackpot in this family. He will wreck that family to pieces. The ways of God are his wisdom to guide you so that you can settle the things that pertain unto life and then you can focus on him. I thank God for giving me this understanding. I am obsessed with balance. I've taught you again and again. Imbalance is as destructive as error and ignorance. This ministry by the grace of God We are where we are by the privilege of God's grace because of the understanding to navigate these seasons. I will never forget a uh, Jimmy and he will testify. You know, because of the way God started those days with me and you know, you know, all those that were there, a time came when God started teaching me these things. Even me myself, I felt guilty because all I wanted was his presence. I would go in the night browsing Jewish worship and the mystery of God's presence. Enter in a cafe with my fluffy disc. If I see anything that looks like Shekinah on an ark, I'm downloading it. I don't even want to know whether he's talking about Just download it. And then a time came when in a very strange way, the passion began to diminish. I fasted my life and I said, Lord, what am I doing wrong that I'm not getting this? And the Spirit of God told me, it's now time to learn the ways of God. I remember when I started proposing some of these things. Around those times, you know, I remember I suffered my own share of persecution. A lot of people just began to propose, this guy has backslidden. He didn't start like this. I know well, they didn't call me apostle then. I mean, somebody who will pray for hours now is sitting down. You are talking about finances. You are talking about leadership. These things are a sign of backsliding because if you are really, you should be fresh. I agree. And time. There are many people who were born again before that are not even born again. again. Hunger will always take Israel to Egypt. It's not the enemies that fight them. Hunger. Listen very carefully. If I ask all of you right now, and I say those who are really trusting God for a job, if you know that joblessness is pinching you and paining you and you are angry about what is doing to your spiritual life if i ask you to stand up you'll be you will see those who they will stand up with the attitude you will know they are really angry say lord I, 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 i've been serving you what is all this one that means something there is affecting your concentration and i have a responsibility to show you the ways of god and to show you fast so that by the grace of God we can spend time and spend our lives mentoring a generation on how to live listen to me there are many things I've said that people have taught was pride some of them are now manifesting today Micah chapter 4 is the prophecy for our generation and that's one of the things that God is doing with this ministry. Micah chapter 4 and verse 1. Please give it to us. Thank you. Thank you. Micah chapter 4, please. But in the last days it shall come to pass 
that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established on the top of the mountain and it shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow unto it. Verse 2. And many nations. How many? many? Nations here don't just talk of countries. They talk of systems. Shall come and say, come. No invitation. No invitation. Come. Let us go up to where? The mountain of the Lord. To where? The house of the God of Jacob. That means the place of encounter. But we are not going there just for encounter. We are going there to carry over a cause we ignored. And he will teach us of his ways. The God of encounters. We encountered him, but we ignored his ways. But now we see a mountain that has both encounter and his ways. He says, come, he will teach us his ways and we will walk in his paths. For the Lord shall go forth from Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. A day will come when the pride of men will fail them. A day will come when the imbalance of men will haunt them. A day will come when the inaccurate spiritual pathway that people are taking will show. And God is building an ark and telling you a flood is coming. When Jesus called the disciples, look at how he trained them. He called the disciples and started by doing a little introduction of himself then he stopped and started teaching them his ways let's go up the mountain and he teaches them the beatitudes the ways of the kingdom he taught them his ways so much that one day he said who am i who do men say that i am they say thank you because this thing has bothered us too we have learned how to be the light and soul but who are you John was so distracted, he forgot who he was. He didn't know that when you learn his ways, you go back to him. And he was offended. He said, go and ask him, are you the Messiah? Or should we seek another? Do you not see that at the end of men's life, when Paul finished knowing his ways and did his exploits, he returned back that I may know him. It's a, it's a principle. Paul did everything. I, I've, I've learned them. He was in the wilderness of Arabia for 18 years. Learned the ways of God. When he was ready, he said, let's go. They killed him. He took himself back to life. And got up and finished everything. And at the end, he said, look, this is it. But Lord, that I may know your ways. Moses was at the backside of the mountain. The progression, an encounter. When he encountered him, God said, take your attention from me. Let's go to your rod now. This is about the one that's you. And Lord, I'm looking at you. Forget about the burning bush. You have seen me. But let me show you what you will do with this rod. And the attention went from the bush to the rod. And he trained him on that rod. He said, now stand up. Leave me. Leave the bush and go somewhere. You will come back. I will meet you again. But for now, he would have stayed there and circled that bush and said, I would die on this bush. Oh, your face, oh Jesus. When Jesus appeared unto Saul of Tarsus, he gave him an encounter. Then he says, go to the house of Judah. Wait there. Someone will come and begin to guide you on the ways of the kingdom. Ananias came and he was filled with the Holy Spirit. His eyes were open and he started learning by revelation. And when he learned at the end of his life that I may know him. John the beloved started like the apostles knowing him. And then later he learned his ways. By the time we get to the end of John's life, it was full of encounters. This is the record that God has given us eternal life. And he begins to talk about the divine life. Then in the Isle of Patmos, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And I saw, I have seen him again. He told me, you will see me again. I will come to you again. You need to know this about the progression of growth. It's a powerful secret. It starts with him. And then when he starts with you, a time comes. He says, now, just knowing my face is not enough to solve the matters that relate to life. Therefore, I will, like like a 
a preliminary course that you will take in another department for a while if you go to that department and remain there you are supposed to take the course get the knowledge and return back i don't want to spend my life even doing ministry because ministry is not an end is a means to an end the end is him listen to me this will help you to know why week after week we continue to dispense the mysteries of the kingdom and every once in a while you will find out that we will have extreme moments where God's presence will come mightily and just interrupt the service and allow periods of extended worship just to remind us don't be distracted with the ways and then he will step back again let the teaching continue those who follow that path are beginning to see certain results in their lives you can have the luxury today to lock yourself and you and your children can serve the Lord as for me and my house he says we will serve the Lord you will not serve the Lord when you are hungry because a borrower is slave to the lender the rich will rule over the poor please listen to me many believers miss it at this point they start well with God and then when the Holy Spirit begins to tell them now it's time for us to move to begin to understand the ways of God they think sometimes it's an error no why should I buy a book on relationship I need books on his presence why should I buy a book on management why should I buy a book on church growth I need a book on heaven mine is just heaven and God says it's true but just calm down let me show you my ways Lord I know you are going to call me and because of the encounter I'm having I will have a global ministry God says potentially that's true but that global ministry works on systems. Let me teach you something. Please just amplify. Can you change the sound? I just need something I can hear. Listen. Help us, Holy Spirit. When Joseph came, listen. Joseph was the deliverer of Israel. I hope you know how Joseph delivered Israel. He brought systems that preserved that economy. Is that true? Joseph left them with a prophecy. He said, when you are going out of Israel, carry my bones. He was not just saying, carry my dead bones. The systems that kept you here, carry it along. Don't leave it behind. Bone struck of systems and structure. There was something that happened that gave this thing structure over my leadership. I know God is calling you to go to a land thrown with milk and honey as his own people. But on the way, you will need the knowledge of this. Carry my bones. Carry it. Why, why will you dig a man? It's not because the land was cursed. No. Carry my bones. Carry those structures and those systems. So while... You are serving God and you see a book on financial intelligence. Don't throw it. Just keep it. A time will come as you are transiting. Let it be part of your library. For now, you are focusing on God. And God, you want to study a book on marriage and God said, no, 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 no. Let's continue the seven days dry fast. It will not always be seven days dry fast. All the movement of heat and cold in your body, it won't happen like that forever. It's a system. You are in a season where he's exposing you to himself. So all your prayer is full of visions. My hands are shaking. My legs have cold and heat. Carry the bones. You will need it. A day will come when the shaking will no longer be there. A day will come when you will not be falling around the way you used to fall before again. A day will come when for a strange reason the strength for 10 hours in prayer will not be there. And you will search your heart and it's not backsliding. Remember that God must be the governor and the coordinator of your growth, not religion. You allow men, they will delve you into error, sincerely so. I watch with shock and I watch with pain in my heart. 
the way so many young people especially in africa continue to corrupt this part of growth they leave joseph's bones and when they get to the wilderness they do not know how to call for bread again are we together this ministry by the grace of god runs on systems and structures and it has afforded the opportunity to serve god and serve his purposes i can imagine the level of distraction that would come into my life if all i focused on was just his face and i ignored his ways let me tell you what we would have done by now i would have carried an offering basket and walk around and say i'm hungry i love god have you been blessed by my anointing yes pastor alpha you all of you people here it's one one million I'm, I'm, I'm not it's not as the spirit leads it's not that i'm bad this is how we carry over in life a day will come when your wife will tell you what kind of a man of god are you and you will get angry and all of a sudden you will start choosing where to go and minister there's one powerful campus minister. Campus, how much are the students going to give me? Campus minister to many zealous but broke students. And the Spirit of God is saying, I want to birth a revival on that campus. But you look at your pocket and it says there is another ministration. It's, it's happening in the US. And I mean, the, the, the priority service from Nigeria to US alone is enough to bless you. There's no hearing God again. And all of a sudden you leave those poor people and a revival is destroyed because a man did not understand the ways of God. Imagine that I went to honor ministrations today because of the honorarium they give. It's a terrible thing. You don't have, to, you will be angry. What of the ones that cannot give you anything? But you know it was the will of God. After you finish preaching, you see what they give you. I say, how much is this? Say it by yourself how much say sorry sir you see we were able to raise it you, you see it and that bitterness will choke the anointing out of your life i'm not just talking the area of finances alone have you not seen preachers that resign from ministry because they could not be able to raise their children well sometimes they ignore the children when God was saying, train up a child, they were hearing that word. They casted it. They were buying worship tapes. Bob Fitz, Don Moen. It's important. Don't get me wrong. And then while they were in the presence, Satan was with the children. That's what happened to the American society. When God teaches people certain things, he said, teach your children. Write it. Your children will ask you questions. Make sure you teach them. Are you getting what I'm saying now? This imbalance has punished a lot of us. I've seen men and women of God who organize meetings. And after the prayer and fast, members don't bring money. They only bring vision. Sir, I saw the meeting. is success. It is done. And he said, do you know how much the board that is? He said, it is done, sir. I'm telling you, I know what I saw. And he will pray with you and go back. And you stand there and say, God, did you call me or not? And God says, remember seven years ago when I told you to settle down and learn my ways. You criticize me, God, and you criticize everything. And because I respect your will, I said, all right, you continue. And now the deficiency of knowing that way of God is telling on you now. So you are anointed, you have encounters. But you cannot build a church that works because you know nothing about leadership you thought it was unnecessary until while you are preaching someone is fetching the money of the church and you think that god is that dull to have allowed it happen you're not knowing his ways then you find out that you never can be able to have up to 100 members what is wrong i'm anointed i just came back from heaven remember I say so what you will continue going to heaven and coming back and finding out that there is no growth because something about the system is not there so when jesus was born at age 12 he was in the temple 
learning learning and then at age 30 he comes to be empowered and begins to do ministry and then he returns back to God from where he came it is God his ways God listen God his ways his ways does not mean you will leave him it doesn't mean you will not pray and you will not fast no but God because you are governed with time you cannot do everything at the pace you started and have the time to it takes time to learn you may pray 10 hours every day and instruction from God for five months but you do that that way you will not have the time for other things so you will find out that God has a system because even that did not happen by your strength and so God helps you then you begin to learn the Holy Spirit says go to a catering school say God forbid with all these visions I'm seeing until you see that it destroys your life son I need you to learn I don't want you to to be an inefficient person you have to learn the laws of greatness and you say Lord I'm going to the nations you are not going alone there are people there and not all of them are born again so he needs to teach you how to be a sheep among wolves Lord I don't care all I know is that I'm going to be great apostle has said it we will all be great and we all know ourselves yes yes it's true but you must know his ways so here you are as a born again person and then you have the opportunity to meet a man a captain of industry and you do not know the principles of relationship you don't know the principles of friendship you don't know how to translate the reality of God's life to relate to a context and you stand there this is an opportunity to not just win a man but win an industry to Christ you know him but you're not knowing his ways I love Jesus Nicodemus comes to Jesus by night and says rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from God for no man can do these things except God be with him he would have said wonderful Nicodemus said verily verily I mean Jesus said verily verily I say unto you except a man be born again so on and so forth and when he led that Nicodemus do you know that Nicodemus was a secret follower of Jesus he learned his ways he shall teach us his ways koinonia hear me you must understand the way God is training you sometimes you see us sit down and for over one or two months all the emphasis is on finance and the rest and sometimes I can almost discern that when these teachings are coming here's the spirit of religion again two months teaching on money is money everything we will need the presence of God I see the joy on some of your faces as soon as I stand and I say the Lord is showing me something and someone is shouting you know people that this is koinonia now these are koinonia not this backsliding version and you keep allowing the spirit of religion you see a student does not define the curriculum no your job is to sit in the class with your heart open let every other name fade away Jesus, take your place. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, take your place. Let every other name fade away. Listen, you will thank me for what you are learning because you will pastor a people who are balanced after service they have cars to go back home they have houses that they can serve the lord in they have influence enough to bless the lord yet in the midst of it they will roll from pillar to post do not allow the spirit of religion destroy your peace do not allow the spirit of religion to corrupt you. Do not even allow the biases and the imbalances that we carry as men of God to corrupt the accuracy of your pursuit. There is only one architect who designs this pathway, Jesus himself, the author, the finisher. A lot of people see what God is doing 
in and through my life around the body of Christ, a man of God asked me and said, Apostle, you're a very strange man. There are different churches that you can go to and minister. How do they accept you? Is it that they don't listen to your message in other churches? For instance, maybe a very conservative church. I can finish a conference there right now. And the very next meeting may not be as conservative as. Is it that they don't know? It's not usual for people to receive guests like that. And I tell them there is something he taught me about the body. It's a mystery. Your results show what you know or you don't know. When the body receives you, there is a grace. There is knowledge that has come. This is what I'm teaching you. So you don't become a Christian that will, because of your imbalance, as a man of God, you join the campaign of fighting every other person too. Who are you for? Paul or Apollos? Are you seeing that now? And many of us have been raised that way, sadly. Oh, I am not this man of God. This one in this country is my papa. This one is my this. This one in my... And you join the campaign of fight. Whereas there is something you can know. And the gates of the body as an entity can be open for you. Is God blessing you? This is what you are learning, my brothers and my sisters. You are learning principles principles i bless the lord for granting me the grace to be the one teaching you this because see if i didn't walk in the anointing it usually will mean that i'm trivializing those things because they are not captured in my life that's why it's powerful to be balanced because your teaching will be believed you have a system of defense for every dimension hallelujah tomorrow i'm in mina sunday i'm in mina monday i'm in abuja tuesday i'm in eboy wednesday i'm in eboy i'm coming back on thursday imagine let's be honest in the name of honesty imagine if i had only two clothes and ten thousand naira for chisco transport do you I, 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 please i'm not i'm not I'm, is this not i just want you to think sincerely do you know how i will be forced to manipulate those people i will carry the anger of my pain and say something god did not say and preach something god did not preach not because i am bad And then here is the risk all through the road in the night 12 hours you preach back to back 12 hours you are back and then everything starts again it's not a blessing I can tell you it's not a blessing you will never be able to have time to seek the Lord imagine that you want to have a Bible study and commit yourself and someone is quarreling and they are raising their voices and distracting you you are in a vision you don't even go far you are back because the noise koinonia let me tell you what god is making out of your life you will love what you are becoming you may not love the training now but my brothers and my sisters listen to me god's integrity is back of what is happening to you and a day will come people will look at you and say sir why are you such a man of God? What, what's responsible for the balance and, and the depth of efficiency? And you will tell them, let the wise man not glory in his wisdom. Let the strong man not glory in his strength and let the rich man not glory in his riches. But let him that glory at glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. My journey starts with God. But I'm careful enough to observe the things that he's teaching me. That will be responsible for my results. And it will recycle time back to help me serve the Lord. There are times that I prepare an average of 18 to 20 sermons per week. 18 to 20 sermons aside from specialized sessions 
and counseling sessions. You ignore this that I'm teaching you. A day will come you will not have messages again as a man of God. And you say it does not matter. And then members will leave. And you will call it an attack. Because you do not know the ways of God. They know not. Neither will they understand. Psalm 82 and verse 5. They walk on in darkness. And all the foundations of the earth are out of course. He said, but have I not said ye are God. And all of you are children of the most high. He says, but you shall die like mere men. And fall like one of these princes. like you to pray you won't believe that i've not even started my sermon for this night i, I, I didn't even realize that the time had gone but i like you to passionately cry think of your children while you are crying think of those called to your destiny while you are don't be selfish it's about you but not all about you cry to the lord Lord, I thank you for revealing a dimension of yourself. But now that you are teaching me your ways, give me the grace to stay. Give me the grace to stay. Lord, I thought the time that I've been spending in the last two years studying, I I've even been afraid. Why are the visions not coming like before again? Now I'm learning that it's a season and a phase. It's not necessarily proof of backsliding. I have come to a point where you are working on me. You are giving me intelligence to be effective. Please pray. I want to inspire a generation to reflect you correctly. Hmm. Abarada kata pros kade balash. He brande gede la kato sada brahas kadabai. My children should not suffer while I seek you. My family should not suffer while I seek your face. It takes time to know you. Oh God, awaken me from slumber so that I can redeem the time because the days are evil. So that I can redeem the time because the days are evil. I don't want to spend my life chasing after mundane things. Chasing after money. Chasing after power. That at the end of your life, when you should be seeking him, you are now learning his ways. They that seek me early, early, they that seek me early shall find me. Hallelujah. The Bible says they are life to those who find them. They are not information to those who find them. They are information to those who hear them. But they are life to those who find them. The kingdom of God is like a pearl that is missing. And someone lights a candle and begins to sweep that room. And when he finds it, 
the kingdom of God is like a treasure that a man finds gold in a property and goes to sell all he has to buy it there are ways to redeem the time listen let me tell you look at me in the 60s and the 70s nobody people took jobs for granted right from 500 level or 400 level you could come with jobs nobody knew that today will be an information age a digital age that will replace jobs so people had the luxury to not focus on some things but times have changed and the sons of Issachar it, it, there is a generation of Issachar that had the understandings the, the fact that God is not doing a thing the way he did 30 years ago does not mean he's the one he's not the one doing it listen let me teach you this for every dispensation there is a strategy when Samson listen when Samson saw the Philistines the spirit of the Lord came upon him and he took the jawbone of an ass a donkey and he killed all of them when he killed the philistines he looked at the bone and threw it why do you throw what works i just used a strategy and defeated an army and yet i'm leaving it to wait for another one many of us will hold that bone and idolize it and even when the bone has no life again you will keep moving with it one time he will tell you let the people go through the water other times he will tell you stand still there is always a strategy for every generation don't borrow a strategy that is not applicable joshua had to wait what is the strategy to bring down jericho and he said this one is not about warfare let the priests lead the way this is the strategy there are times that the men of war would lead the way there were times it was not just the priest the worshipers what is the strategy for this generation do you know or do you believe it's the same strategy for everyone is a joke god who in sundry times and diverse manners spake to us through the fathers hath in these last days in these last days spoken to us through his son whom he has appointed to be heir over all things so there was a time in sundry times and diverse manners he used a strategy but in these last days there is a strategy just because a strategy worked does not mean god is interested in using it again give us this day not give us once and forever give us this day for every day there will be a strategy oh elijah for a while it will be at brook cherith that's the strategy for your survival position yourself at brook cherith and a raven will come but the the, the brook is dried up elijah hear the word for another strategy otherwise you would die at brook cherith whereas god has relocated your blessing through another strategy you held the jawbone of an ass it killed in 1960 it killed in 1970 but the arsenals of hell changed their strategy and we refused to go back because we learned the principles very slowly and we ignored the presence many people are applying principles that do not have a corresponding power in the realm of the spirit that is why the results do not show i remember the time and I say this respectfully so. When God told me I want to open your eyes to see the key to church growth. I had not seen it. I am, look, let me tell you something. I have studied the largest churches in every continent with all humility. The day I saw it, I said, this is it. Not the church growth of the fathers. The church growth of the future. The way they built the tabernacle in the wilderness was not the way they built Solomon's temple. The strategies are different. The goal is that he inhabits them, but the patterns are different. Listen to me. If you get what I'm teaching you, you will be blessed. There are people, generations past, could ignore certain things. But there are generations that if you ignore certain things, in the 60s and 70s, you could see a, 
a trader keep banana or something and not even be there you will carry the banana put it in the leather and drop the money there but it says the times it says the days are evil are we together now yes you couldn't have somebody just come and cheat you and betray you and stab you for nothing because the pressure to make for that is not there but the hardship of men has helped them to invent wickedness didn't the bible tell you that the end times will be like the days of noah what characterized the days of noah wickedness multiplied and so you need the strategy you carry the naivety of decades past and you find out that you are on you are unfruitful to the church listen let me tell you this I will use names respectfully and honorably. Papa Ia Deboye represents the face of a generation. Are we together now? He represents God and a dimension of his walking to a generation. If I go to Papa Ia Deboye's generation, no matter, I've, I've ministered many, many times in those circles, and no matter how powerful my ministration is, the people love me, but they may not listen to my messages because david served his generation are we together even if i cut promises head and carry it and put it back are we together now it will never stop anybody from crowding and camping around redemption camp i went for a conference recently and we had to route through another way because two major ministries were having a regular meeting and the entire road was blocked it was a strategy for that generation everyone that caught the strategy the results have to show there are others who passed and didn't get it it's very clear they didn't get it so we must stand like habakkuk i will stand upon my watch and i will set myself upon the tower god what are you saying for my generation what is the strategy for survival what is the strategy for survival there were no facebook's to criticize a man of God those days. But now, oh God, that is easy for darkness to attack a man. What is the strategy? Hmm. Are we together now? Yes. People were a lot more loyal in the times of our parents and our time. They can love a man no matter what is right or wrong. But our generation is a vocal generation. A lawyer can stand up and say you are stupid for thinking we are idiots. He will listen to you and after service he will analyze your message and sue you to court. Because you abuse my privacy. There were certain levels of um, being raw and outspoken that our fathers could afford in their generation. You try it now, you will die because you are speaking to nations they had the luxury to say certain things in certain ways you are not bending the truth you are receiving a strategy because you are speaking to people who are global in context and you must be able to translate divine realities to make meaning to a generation you can't talk to everybody as if you are talking to those who are in your locality when Jesus came and found an agrarian society, he converted the realities of the kingdom into agricultural terms to relate to the then civilization and they understood. Listen to me. Ministry is not just about the anointing. There is a skill. There is a science. There is a psychology for effective ministry. It's much more than just having the ability to do an exegesis of scripture. It's a combination of many factors playing behind the scene. People don't just love you because you are telling the truth. Mm -mm. It is not just truth itself that saves. It is how it is presented. You can serve me water. Please help me with this. There are two ways to serve me water. There is one way. Apostle, please take water and drink. You serve me water. The water is not wrong. But I will hate you because of your service. You did not serve it to present honor. You can do this to a footballer. In the football field. 
and he will not be angry is the ethic of it in fact the skill of receiving it will be an accolade but now when you come to me and you carry this and throw it the same thing you did in the field that they clap for you you do it here they will curse you you must understand the intelligence that comes with territory and systems oh dear this is not a pastor's conference please sit down in the name of jesus sit down sit down sit down sit down sit down the spirit of this prayer and fasting is upon me ah. second peter chapter one jesus you know sometimes when i come looking which one do i omit and which one just boils in my spirit and i'm looking which one do i omit and which one do i say because I truly, truly want you to get it. Many of you will have churches in the future. You will see how exceptional your churches will be. Yes, yes, yes. The grace that is upon you is, is too much for a member. No, God is training you. I mean, no, 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 no. This is not the grace that just keeps you. You are representing a nation and a territory. So you are listening for the sake of nations that might not be hearing now. Second Peter 1, help us, Holy Spirit. Hmm. Verse 2. Let me just tie up something and we'll pray this night. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ our Lord. Verse 3. Read with me according as his divine power hath given unto us all things stop read it again and stop at things ready one to read one more time so let's reverse it all things are given unto us according or by his divine power listen carefully all things are delivered to the saints how faith is only a connector to his divine power the system that makes for reception in the kingdom is the agency of his divine power as powerful as faith is faith is like a funnel are we together the funnel connects the container and the one you want to put under so that's what faith does faith in itself does not produce miracles does not produce breakthrough are we together faith you know is just your conviction and the action you take to validate that conviction are we still together so the bible says according as his divine power let's work this a little tonight that means there are results if I see arrive your life the agency that made it so regardless of what principle you obeyed the principle only made way for his divine power if his divine power cannot be released there is no performance I don't know if you get what I'm saying yes let me give you an illustration look up please everyone what is inside this bottle water I, I hope you know that there are different ways to package water are we together now let me interpret this every time you are thirsty what quenches the thirst is water how it comes may be different are we together now yes it can be packaged in a bottle it can even be packaged in in you know all kinds of ways but if at all your thirst is quenched the factor that quenched it is water the bottle that brought it and the system of packaging is not the issue is that the central factor that quenches test is what water so the bible says thank you according as his divine power listen carefully his divine power does not give some things it gives what that means you need to study what the bible tells you gives all things according as his divine power 
hath given unto us all things that pertains unto life and godliness. That means if I am not obtaining, I am not engaging something that makes available his divine power. Listen, listen, listen. If I prosper, his divine power hath given me prosperity. There's a set of kingdom principles I engage, but then when I engage them, what will come is still his divine power. In physics, we teach that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. I'm helping you prepare for jam tomorrow. For those of you who are writing jam, you'll be surprised to find out that that's your first question. <laughs> are we together now? But that it can be converted from one form to another. Are we, are we together on that? That means every time you see any manifestation of energy, it is the same energy. It is just different forms of it. That the same electricity can turn to power this and then can produce sound here that means if i hear sound energy made it so if this fan is turning energy I, I i get i get what i'm saying now and so regardless of what results you are looking for his divine power the way you engage his divine power for different situations may differ but that the factor that is responsible for giving the saints all things is his divine power the more of his divine power that works in me, the more the possibility of obtaining all things become in my life. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Follow me carefully. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians chapter 3, please. Spiritual understanding. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 popular scripture look up please and let's read it's projected one two read stop who is the him god so who has the ability god's ability is not in doubt now unto him who is able to do uh-huh abundantly above all that we ask or think stop he's about to introduce a condition that can make all what he just said to happen or not and the condition is according to the power that walks not lives not dwells according to the power that walks not according to the power that lives in us mm. The possibilities are not according to the power that you possess. It is the dimension of the power that is released. The power that walks. Not the power that lives. Not the power that resides. Listen to me. That's why we can have the same power. We can have the same anointing. And our possibilities are different. Because of the power that walks. Not the power that is in you. now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that walketh 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 the power that is engaged the power that is produced in us are we together we can have the same holy spirit but the power that is released through sister A, brother A, may differ. Hence, they are actualizing the possibilities that God said would be. Many times I have found out the issue is really not more power. It is the grace and the understanding to activate the power that resides within you. They did not need to go and bring new bread and new fish something was done and that in itself was enough are you getting what i'm saying now please understand this it is according to the power that worketh in us according
according to the power not lives in us if God spoke that way it would be unfair because the same Lord is rich unto all are we together we have been made to drink of the same spirit but the dimension to which we have released the power of God and the investments of the spirit within us differ this is the difference so my possibilities and your possibilities may differ the factor is not God the factor may not even sometimes be the anointing it is I have done something to make a greater room for the power to not just live but to walk in and through me are you getting what I'm saying now so the power that we allow to find expression through us determines the possibilities that come and there are many ways to make the power work in us that's why we are spending these seven days to give room i'll just tell you two quickly and we'll pray one way that you can cause the power to be at work in you is through enlightenment and transformation the power of god is limited to your belief system your paradigm i've taught you this according to the power that works that works that works i've given this example here some of our fathers great fathers of faith who lived in the 40s 50s and 60s many of them were heavily anointed but because some of them did not go to school some of them could not speak many languages are we together the limitation in their mindset did not allow the power of God invested in them to be fully manifest. Now, those fathers, as crude as they were, they now anointed other younger people with an enlightened mind, with intelligence, and you see the potential manifesting. Enlightenment and transformation is one way to activate the power that works within you there are possibilities that will never find expression until they pass through an enlightened mind we'll soon pray come Sam please look up everybody Sam in this example is a mighty prophet of God with a great prophetic grace but Sam is not so enlightened in this example are we together so his understanding of the word is very very small or there's nothing there and then his general enlightenment in terms of knowledge in terms of the knowledge about life is small we both have the same anointing you are going to see that the possibilities that flow forth from our lives will be very different in spite of the fact that the same Lord is rich unto all. Are we together now? Let me give you an example. Two of you, please come stand. Let's assume that this gentleman and lady, uh, husband and wife, are we together? Now, the Lord is revealing to me, watch this now. Sam can come as a prophet. The divine power is at work in him. And Sam can see a horn on this girl's head what did he see and he can see fingers like that of a witch this is what his vision is telling him there is no enlightenment to properly translate what he's seeing to the edifying of the people so he will announce it from the limitation of his mindset his sight was correct but the divine power is limited and he can he will just say madam you are a witch and you are a devil. Oga, you married a witch and you've been smiling. Why will your business move forward? And he can even recommend that the way forward is what? This guy has misrepresented what God can do. God can do better than that. But because he is anointed but not enlightened, there is so much power in him, but very little is working. Are you getting that now? The only power that is allowed to walk is the power to see. The power to interpret is not allowed. Because enlightenment did not activate it. 
Now, this guy is still a prophet of God, but he will keep destroying marriages in his church, for instance. Are we together now? Now, stand again. I have the opportunity to now prophesy. And I'm not only anointed, I am enlightened. Meaning that I understand the systems and the ways of God. Are we together? The moment I see a horn on this precious lady, listen, I know that there is a difference between bewitching. There is a difference between being a witch and there is a difference between being manipulated by darkness. When I see this, my understanding helps me to interpret it well. And so I know that the problem is not this lady. She may be connected to something territorial that God is trying to show me. So I separate the influence from the person. Now more of God's power and possibilities can now flow by reason of my enlightenment. And by so doing, I can set this lady free. Are we together now? And then I can redeem this family. Still yet, I can even be more enlightened. And after I deliver them, I know that there is a dimension of deliverance that is not conducted. It is preached. It's called deliverance through knowledge. It is not enough for this lady to be delivered from the spirit influences. I've taught you this she must be reoriented to understand the ways of God to know who she is in Christ to help her understand the principles that make for victory three approaches same anointing his divine power he's able to do this according the power lives in us but how much of it works in you that will determine your result so when your mind expands, more of the power of God can flow through you. Many times people come to me and they say, Apostle, more anointing. I say, what exactly are you looking for? Say result. I say, do you really believe that if I pray for you, they don't even listen. They say, yes, sir. Just, just do it. And I say, mm -hmm. how many people prayed for you? A, B, C, D. Did anything change? No. That means that you are like a tap that has refused to open. They connected you to a dam, but you have limited the water to come by drops. Are you seeing that now? So you are wondering why a bucket has not been full even after two weeks because the water is limited to the opening. If I can help you open the mall, you can fill the same bucket. You don't have to change the reservoir. That expansion. And when there was no more vessel, the oil stopped. That's why we need enlightenment. Just because we are spiritual does not mean we ignore enlightenment. You can see how, for instance, God saves this marriage. Otherwise, if this enlightenment is not there, and I don't interpret it well, this man will go, you, do you think, will you eat your wife's food if you hear that kind of blind prophecy with no interpretation? And then she brings all kinds of things. Fish, fish, mermaids with fish. Say, you now brought the one from the sea for me this night. You would have even brought cow or something. We continue to make a fool of God's power because the enlightenment that makes that power a blessing is the same thing like power coming from Nepa or Nitel. Are we together? And then you have a wire just caught and somebody just touches it. It was not channeled properly and so it is not controlled well. This is it. You can be a pastor heavily anointed, but because of the low level of your enlightenment, the power of God may not be able to flow. Did you know, let me tell you something. Many dimensions of the spirit of God that is at work in my life is at work in the life of many people, especially young ministers around, and people hate them because there is the same anointing. The interpretation and the system of dispensing that power has been refined through enlightenment so that i can let the power of god flow in a meeting and i can let it flow in a way and manner that relates to the thinking of that ministry hmm. there are people who are very intellectual and seeing the power of god flow like that may create a lot of controversy and so you need to come like paul from the standpoint of a scribe and a pharisee 
the anointing will have to follow the channel of knowledge you are going to have to con to convince them by the soundness of theology and scripture that becomes the host by which that power flows they are able to receive it because the depth of your balance and your theological exegesis will keep them in awe and they will know that whoever must have received this level of intelligence this power must be of god notice how paul made his defense from city to city when he met ignorant people, he just said, this idol is the God you are looking for. When he met intelligent people, he said, no, don't call. I'm a Pharisee. I'm a Pharisee. I'm learned. Everybody say enlightenment. It's very important. You don't go to talk to a team of business experts and, and entrepreneurs and great people around and you just stand and say, don't worry, just use your heart. And right now, as I'm speaking, somebody is going to shout, don't worry, you will not understand, you are unfruitful. They will drive you out of that place. You are anointed, but you are short-circuiting the power because enlightenment has not allowed a greater dimension of the power to work in you. Are we together? the second way you can allow this to happen is through prayer and fasting thank you prayer and fasting is a system that among other things principally deals with the issue of unbelief but it can expand your capacity in the spirit it is true it is true the disciples could not cast out a certain epileptic spirit and jesus told them this kind that means there are many kinds this kind go ahead not accept listen listen don't argue with jesus this kind go ahead not but by prayer and fasting there were certain people who bound themselves and said they will not eat until paul died prayer and fasting there are, there are spiritual strategies that can allow more of the power of god that is resident within you to be activated and to be at work in you when a man sets himself to pray and fast it's not just starvation my brothers and sisters hear me there is no man i know or woman of god that is being mightily used by god with genuine power genuine power genuine power that is not a student of fasting and prayer it's a joke There are certain spiritual loads you cannot carry until that stamina is there. Oh God, give me, give me. And God says, this thing will drop and crush you into pieces. But when you get to the place of prayer and fasting, it's like walking out. You may not know the changes are happening to you, but you just continue. So while you are praying and you are fasting, you are praying and you are fasting, many things are happening. And then you will see that there is grace. You may not even know until the day you go for a meeting and they say brother can you come and share in this fellowship and you come as a brother your name is about to change you just stand and say can we all rise up to pray and you find out that people cannot stand up again what happened his divine power god is saying you have given me more space now see what that more space can do let me tell you this when i started out in ministry we're going to pray i noticed that certain sicknesses and diseases will never go i never got testimonies in those areas it bothered me for a while i said god what is this there are gifts of healing yes i studied all of them tl lost born and, and at a point in time i studied i studied you know classifications of sicknesses i studied all kinds of rabbinical writings 39 straps on jesus 40 less one i studied them and this thing was not working pregnant women were never getting pregnant if i prayed even me i knew they won't get pregnant yet i was anointed how can people be falling under the anointing and certain possibilities were not coming i said lord what is the key and then god called me and said the anointing is there but your capacity is small i said i know the key Jakataskaba. You would think you are not doing anything. You just continue. You are expanding your capacity. A day will come, you will look at that woman. Whereas you would have prayed before as if you are fixing the tire of a car. Sweating around a pregnant woman to get her pregnant. If this thing is not there, it's not there.
Jesus looks at the epileptic patient and rebukes a deaf and dumb spirit and is done. So we can be singing praise and worship in this place. And this brother is sitting on a wheelchair. And I come. Man of God. Man of signs and wonders. Just because you saw one or two things in a crusade ground. You don't vet your capacity. Just say, in, in my name, they shall cast out devils. And you even have the effrontery to tell the man. Uh, you think you are get beautiful. Do you know how long these guys were coming at from the hour of prayer? Not, not from, from lunch. The hour of prayer and you would call the name of Jesus and say stand up and they're already clapping for you in advance and you lift the guy and he's shaking walk the guy say, I'm will I lie and he just says sit down quietly let me tell you what went wrong please believe me it is never the power of God it is that the level of grace and anointing that needs to flow to correct that thing your capacity cannot carry it now many men of god will not be humble enough to receive this thing they will say this guy doesn't have faith it's a lie it's a lie i always take responsibility for miracles that don't happen And then as I began to stay with God the more, I started seeing certain possibilities. Newer testimonies and cases. I remember one of the most frustrating one was this HIV thing. That thing would not go at all. And the people who always tell, test themselves and let me know. Sir, it's still there. Oh. Of course, will, will the people lie? And I got tired. I said, no, something, there has to be something wrong. See, let me tell you, when you love God and love people, you will not excuse lack of results. They will draw you back to the secret place. And I began to pray. I began to pray. I said, Lord, there has to be a way. And the Lord let me know. There are many factors, but the anointing is there, my son. But the capacity is small. You have eaten away some space. Huh? Yes. The power is flowing and food just stands like a customs officer. And the power cannot flow. But by the time you trust God for grace to scatter the walls of gluttony and open up your capacity, you will not even know that that case is represented in your meeting. While there was a time I didn't just used to speak upon people and it will happen. This creative dimension of the prophetic, it was not there. It was not intentional. The results were not repeatable. Many men of God will not open up to you like this and share with you what I'm saying. Because everybody has his reputation. I would speak to someone. People would come and I cannot remember talking to them because I'm not, I didn't even expect it to happen. I just spoke at random. Maybe one minor case that was under your grace was quickly answered. But you get to a point where you can tell him, go, I know you will come back with a testimony. My brothers and my sisters, it is not the mouth, it's the spirit, it's the capacity. This is what demons see. When demons look at you, they don't see your head, your shoulders, your knees, or your toes. They see your spirit man. The largeness of your heart. You may look tiny physically, but boy, they see what is there. And you make one decree and you open up doors. I thank God for the grace to do that today. And I thank God for the levels that we continue to press. Because in this school, you never graduate. You just move higher and higher. The day you graduate, you, you, you plateau there and you go down. When I have the privilege to pray with people, I didn't like praying with people before. I like praying alone with God, but not praying with people because of the frustration. The results were there, but they were not many. Just like it's happening to some of you. Man of God, can you pray for me? Say, let's pray. You finish praying, no results, no testimonies. Can you believe God that in these seven days that something will tear open in you 
huh? that there can be a capacity please help her a capacity a largeness of heart listen to me my brothers and my sisters it is the size that you carry in the spirit hmm, that determines your result i'm telling you this if i pour water on this cup it is only the size of this cup that can take if anything outside that it will just waste away so sometimes it's not more anointing it is oh god expand me expand me expand me i'm tired of this level of testimonies headache 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 here and then all oh, my teeth <clears throat> I, I need to shift nations i need to stand and look over a family and say it has it's, it has come to pass listen to me if you're a man of god here hear me we're going to pray make sure you keep vetting what you are doing don't keep going to people's homes and waking them in the night doing night vigil from 10 to 5 and then at the end of it two weeks later they tell you nothing has happened you say let's do it again please don't frustrate people if that grace is not there go and work on yourself there are some there are some ministry publicity you should not do until you are ready healing service healing 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 bring the sick and we mock ourselves 90 sick people come and only one person who is not even sure he's not there Abba. his divine power this ministry you see my brothers and my sisters is sitting on a large there is capacity in the spirit that makes for this all the people you see come it's not just because they like a man it's more than that there is capacity there is capacity there is capacity there are certain regions you don't do certain kinds of ministries and go scot free the devil will attack you and destroy that ministry I'm challenging many of you. You are anointed, but your capacity is small. Your results show it. Mm -mm. Your words don't have carry power. You, there's too much talk. Too much talk. Too much grammar. Too much talk. Too much grammar. Too much talk. We need to settle down. Get this thing for real. Get real spiritual power. I've already been setting myself during this prayer and fasting to say, Lord, there are, there are dimensions. There are dimensions. Look at the way you have kept your fellowship small because where you stopped is where the fellowship stopped. It can't grow more than you again. Look at where you kept your prayer group because you are small. You continue recycling mediocrity and clapping for yourself. Oh, you are MOG. You are this, whereas there are heights and virgin dimensions in the spirit you know let me tell you when i see men of god sometimes and i see our pride i stand and i wonder i said compared to what result? where is the result when there are still families crying where is the result how many times did you pray for people do you know when people drop prayer requests here more than once when i sit down and i hear people saying i dropped my prayer request january i dropped my prayer request february i dropped my it does something to me i'm not saying you should know i'm saying ah, did you have to drop it three times to be answered that if you come for koinonia once once it's enough for your miracle the rest should just be growth once not twice the next time is you bringing someone else enlightenment is good but many of us our capacities are small that's why you finish fasting and as soon as you finish your prayer meeting as you are lying down the spirits come back again the spirits are testifying something 
Apostle, I prayed three days. As soon as I was lying down, the same spirit that used to oppress me came back. Let me tell you, there is a level of fire. My brothers and my sisters, hear me. Let me tell you, even a madman does not enter fire by mistake. Jesus prayed all night. How long? How long, please? Not all day. I've told you about the mystery of the night. Capacity. It takes a long time. So that you don't fool yourself. You just look at someone and feel you are falling down. I'm falling down. You are the same. It's a joke. It's a big, it's a serious joke. There are people who can speak over nations. I prayed and cried for that grace. I said, Lord, how there are regions that I may not have the opportunity to come more than once. Why should the people die? Capacity. This is the problem. It's too small. Too small. You are praying. Too small. You are speaking. It's too small. Laying hands. Too small. And so God cannot honor you. That grace is too small. Listen, it's time to come up here. Throw away the little, little results. Eh? Uh, thank God for the small results. But my brothers and sisters, we need to delve into something deeper. Deeper. The grace to change climates and change territories. Not saying a lot of talk that we cannot defend. There are still ailing people. Is there no bam in Gilead? You are getting people filled with the Holy Ghost. Five over ten. Is that a pass? They invite you into a family. Serve you lunch as a man of God. Take care of you. Even sow a seed for you. And then they say pray for us. And you pray and nothing happens. The spirits just watch you and nod their head. And you prayed in Jesus' name. Hi. Somebody needs to be angry and say, no more, no more, no more. Is it not a season of extraordinary fruitfulness? No more, no more. No more. No more. Oh. Your prayer. 
Lord, they call me apostle, but there's nothing apostolic about me. They call me prophet, but there's nothing prophetic about me. It can't continue like this. Is someone praying? Shanaka pakaratasia. Increase my capacity. Increase my capacity. According to the power. According to the power. According to the power. Thank you for yesterday's resolve. But Lord, I press to the challenges of today. Thank you for the healings of yesterday. Thank you for the miracles of yesterday. Thank you for the signs, the prophecy of yesterday. But Lord, I am dissatisfied. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. You know you have entered a new dimension by the things that begin to answer to you. When I call you and you do not come, it's called dishonor. It means you do not regard me. So when you call healing at a dimension and it does not come, when you call breakthroughs at a dimension and it does not come, is the realm of the spirit answering you. You don't have the capacity to make that demand. Listen, you're going to cry for this, for staying power. It takes stamina and grace. These things are not easy in the flesh. It takes grace. It takes grace. It takes grace. Lift your voice and pray. The stamina, the power that stays, oh God. The power that stays. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Elijah was a man of like passion. Elijah was a man like us. One thing separated him. He prayed earnestly, not casually, not circumstantially. He prayed earnestly that there be no rain and gave the timing three and a half years. Had he said ten years, there will be no rain on earth for ten years. Not by the will of God, by the dictates of a man. The largeness of your capacity. The largeness of your capacity. I'd like you to open your mouth. Start to correct things in your life. Start to speak over things. I disallow, I disallow. Shamakata Bakato Sekete. Embregete Kotoko Toparakata. I disallow. I disallow. I disallow failure. I disallow weakness. Is someone praying? I disallow oppression over my family. I disallow poverty. 
I disallow hardship. Shabas kaba shala kato zabra. Embre kato kaparato zesekete. Embre kato skabarada bashata. I disallow failure in ministry. It shall not be like before. I enter a new season. I disallow joblessness. Hallelujah. 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 Two more prayers and we're done. Lord, honor my life with strange results. Strange results. Whether you are a man of God or not, let it please you, oh God. Honor my ministry. Honor my business. A strange order. Notable results. Notable results. Notable financial results. Notable supernatural results. Outside, are you praying? Honor oh, my life with strange results. Results beyond debate. Results beyond contesting. Results beyond argument. Are you praying? 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 Honor my church with results. Honor my fellowship with results. Honor my prayer group with results. Honor my family, my wife, my husband, my children. Hallelujah. Listen, listen to me. What are results? Supernatural workings of God's spirit. Possibilities that only God can produce. You are a man of God, you are a prophet, your eyes are blind, your ears are blind, you are not hearing, seeing anything. Abba! Listen, let me tell you this. The last prayer, you're going to say, Oh God, make me dissatisfied with this current level. Listen, 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 listen. There are many of us, your spiritual growth process was corrupted when they started giving you honorarium from one ministration. Whether people are blessed or not, they say, Take 10 naira, take 20 naira. They now invite you to one fellowship and you stop growing. Come on, please. Or when you started a church, Papa, Apostle Joshua Selman, and you stop growing. Oh, everybody's listening to your messages around the world. That's child's play. You must get to a dimension where like Samuel, you are a man whose word cannot fall to the ground. Lord, the dissatisfaction that will push me to the next level Plant it in me. Plant it in me. Plant it in me. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. 
We know there's more that's found in you. More than little miracles. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found in you. Settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you, and we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you, and we. It's in you, Lord. 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 We know there's more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know. We know there's more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more than found in you. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more than found in you. So why is favor not coming? There is a dimension of his divine power that needs to be released why are my meetings not characterized by the power and the presence of god there is a dimension there is a dimension of his divine power that is still missing look let me tell you my brothers and my sisters i like you to don't don't be too soft on yourself within this period you will not die carry something that the world will thank God on your life for. Don't, don't carry what will make you fight with others. Don't carry what will make you feel insecure when a man of God comes. No. God can grant you something solid upon your life. That your life becomes a praise to the nations. I remember after our second crusade in this ministry, the next year, we were discussing and they said, where are we going? I went to the Lord and the Lord said, you are not going anywhere. And I said, okay, we're not going anywhere. Ah, but I thought we'd do it every year. Mm -mm. Be careful. The ritual of religion can destroy you. God used to do it this way. It doesn't mean he has to do it the same way. The most important thing is let it be him doing it. Treasure of my heart and of my soul. In my weakness, you are merciful. Mm. Redeemer of my past and present wrong. You're the holder of my future days to come. Nothing in this world stands Jesus, you're the calm that wouldn't run dry. We live our lives being in a hurry is not the same thing as speed. God is a God of speed. I don't know why I'm preaching this now. This is part of the miracle service. God is the God of speed, but God is not the God of rush. There is a difference between speed and rush. Many of us, the Spirit of God is speaking to someone here. You need to calm down. The way you are running with your life, you are going to land in trouble. The way you are running with ministry, you will land in trouble. The way you are approaching marriage, the way you are approaching destiny, you will land in trouble. Culture and the sociological um, context of our living can mount pressure on us. 
to run ourselves to the ditch my soul wait thou upon the lord god is a god of speed but until he speaks you are on your own it's amazing how you can be running for many years and find out that you are not moving running but not moving and here comes a man as weak as he is but he can walk at the pace of god and more can be achieved in one month with god than 10 years alone have you not learned the excellency of walking with god he said for with god all things without god outside of god there are things that are not possible apostle my life i don't want to be a failure age is already um, not on my side i must make sure that i build a house now i must and god is saying calm down son you have handed your life over to me let me be lord of your life i say lord you don't know the pressure that is coming from my family let's be careful satan comes to attack us at the points of our vulnerability and hijacks us don't miss the series on friday we're rounding up the deliverance series are we together god is already speaking that's what leads many of us to this life of hustling putting your hand in everything and just rushing around and they say why say man must work all those nonsense cliches must get out of your life and your mind if god does not lead me i'm not going nowhere you may call me irresponsible but let me die waiting my soul waits down upon the lord it's now a foreign experience to many of us to wait gone are the days that people will say i'm i'm waiting now, people just think waiting is fasting from six to six waiting means waiting the bible says except the lord builds a house listen very carefully he says they labor in vain build it except the lord watches over a city man of god listen businessman he says he says the watchman watched but in vain and my bible says it is vain to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow only to eat the bread of sorrow i'm speaking to someone be tired of the bread of sorrow the bread of sorrow does not feel the bible says he gives his beloved sleep There are many pastors that just get up and feel anointed and just want to rent one small auditorium and punish themselves punish their wives punish the few people that believe in them because they think ministry is just about opening a place and then we have the gods to tell people come it's not that way paul a man approved of god jesus a man approved of god Is God speaking to us? We need to have results in our lives. We are still praying. But you see, God is not a herbalist. No. There are systems. There is a way that he works. And one of the ways that he works is to direct men. And thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Walk ye in it. And you will find rest for your soul. Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying now? It matters. God is interjecting this miracle service to just minister to someone and say you are, you are hurrying up too much. You think it's breakthrough. You are running. You will soon find out that you've been around the same jungle. For someone after this service, you need to go and calm down with your life and say, I've been running since 2005. What have I done with my life? Absolutely nothing. Oh, come Lord Jesus come and direct me give me direction are we together the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong not even bread for them that are wise when a man subscribe to the direction of god your life may look controversial for a while but all that will be before you is beauty and glory then your life will become Beulah and Hephzibah, the delight of the nations, the excellency of waiting. The hardest thing for a believer to do is to wait. It's easy to rush. It's easy to do a lot of things. 
you will make more mistakes in your life rushing there is power in waiting are we together there is power in waiting we're going to pray for the sick now there's a lot to do tonight but listen very carefully if this message is for you then i want you to receive it from the depth of your heart you know when we come like this there are various things that the lord is doing to several people not everyone is sick not everyone is oppressed but a word can come and god says be careful there are people about to relocate now to regions they have not sought god they just assumed let me tell you something brothers and sisters there is no place on earth called greener pastures greener pastures is a spiritual location is where the voice of god for you is god is already helping someone how many nigerians smuggle their way through the desert trying to get to lands because they believe the only difference between your locality and any locality in the world is a greater propensity to discern appreciate and reward value that's all they have a greater propensity to discern to appreciate and to reward value you can be where you are if you are truly directed by god and he will come to you and bless you are we together now how many of you are trusting the lord to touch you or touch your loved ones we are going to do it very fast because the second session of this prayer i want to settle down and really really pray seriously and just dismantle a number of things in our lives the grand finale will be on friday but then you are here we're going to pray for the sick now i promise that we'll do that very early so that we can finish and then attend to other issues now you may not be sick listen carefully but if you are a man of god is an opportunity to watch lord what are you doing how does this thing work what can i learn you must remain a student we are all students in the school of the spirit ever learning but in this case in that learning coming to the knowledge of the truth are we together you are trusting god for a healing miracle if you are in overflow one now hold on i want to specifically minister to barren people myself so if you have any case of barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three please i want to minister to you myself please make your way very quickly and come stand you're trusting god for a miracle let's do it very very fast there is a lot to do very fast the worship team will lead us and just charge the atmosphere for us while we do this very fast and then at the same time to save time at the same time your your requests your prayer requests if you are here and you're you're yet to write your prayer request go ahead you can spare a few minutes to just write it now please listen listen very carefully except whoever is laying hands on you maybe ask you or prophesies to you or does whatever you just once they touch you just go back to your seat some of you i notice they touch you and you move to the other side of the line and still stand it's unbelief praise the lord or you are saying okay you don't know my problem is here and you are touching here the lord is showing me something about this woman <laughs> You don't have fallopian tubes at all oh my god they've removed it your husband got another wife creator of the universe what can you do this precious lady I don't know you I'm just seeing you for the first time I'm not a woman so I can't pretend to say I know what is happening here but for a woman to not have fallopian tubes all removed and now it has scattered your marriage 
let me ask you a question and i'm asking it boldly do you believe that god can give you new fallopian tubes Where are you coming from? Madam, let me tell you, there is a God that sits in heaven. God is not a herbalist. He's a miracle worker. Put your hand on your stomach. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus. Father, that's all right. I decree and declare brand new fallopian tubes. The God that doeth wonders, brand new fallopian tubes. I say it again, brand new fallopian tubes. Madam, allow for some time and go and check yourself in the hospital. Give Jesus praise. Please help this woman. It's an elderly woman. Help her. Help her. Social help. Her. In the name of Jesus, Mama God is delivering you in Jesus' name. The Lord is showing you somebody. It's just all you, you will sing, you will go back to your singing. I just want to. I'm saying that someone, the power of God is going to come upon you here. You are here right now on the line. I want to prophesy to that person. I, I just saw a flash of light, a very strong anointing. Bring the person. The Lord is rolling away the reproach in your life. And the Lord is telling me he's breaking the power of witchcraft over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I declare to you, not only will you or your brother be healed, I decree and declare salvation comes to your family now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please sing for us that song creator of the universe creator of the universe what can do what can do
looking at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing fibroid. Is that true? How long? Seven years. Fibroid. Confirmed in the hospital. That devil is going to leave you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do you have children, ma? I've not married. You are not married? Oh my God. Now you be God, Almighty God. Oh, 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 oh,
and say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout and say in the name of Jesus. I prophesy over the next half of this year. Hear the word of the Lord. Become for me seasons of signs and wonders. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Everyone. Shalakato Sabra Hasileka de Bakata. Make sure you are praying. Praise God. Please keep praying, keep praying. Let it become for me seasons of signs and wonders. Seasons of signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Say so after me in the name of Jesus. Please let me see us. Say in the name of Jesus. Every dimension of grace. Every dimension of the anointing. Required for my next level of exploits. I receive it tonight in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and please pray. Every dimension. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen. That's the next prayer point. We prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be returned unto me. One more time. Everything. Restore unto you the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, and even the palmer worm has taken. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that everything that has left my life and destiny that should not have left. I call you back by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. Declare that you might just be justified. Declare.
of Jesus Christ. Say it again in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare over my loved ones. Hear the word of the Lord. This is your season of rising. Lift your voice and prophesy over your loved ones. Please believe what you are saying. Prophesy. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. This is your season of rising. A new level, a new dimension in the spirit. says the Egyptians you see today he said you will see them for no more forever I like you in the next five minutes everything that has attempted to mock God in your life don't be afraid open your mouth and declare that under this atmosphere of the anointing of the spirit you are leaving my life and my family forever open your mouth and pray declares thou that ye might as be justified pray don't entertain unbelief I cause poverty I cause failure pray Jesus cause the victory
listen let me tell you this was he praying many of us here all you need is the ministry of helpers are we together now the psalmist said i will lift up my eyes onto the hills do you know why he spoke about the hills because god used the strategy of the hill to protect the people every time there was war he would lead them up the hill and if they got there there would always be victory remember elijah when it, when there was time for any contest he would say go up the hill mount camel mount zion mount this and that and so he said i will lift up my eyes to the hills but he said no 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 where comments my help he said my help the, the hill is only a strategy the hill is not my source and then he says my help cometh that means just like faith help to cometh faith cometh help cometh your help can come from other places by divination and witchcraft a man can attract a system of attention but he will pay for it listen Ebenezer is a revelation of the hand of God that can help a man blessed is a man that finds help from God many people are suffering because there is no help life can be cheap when there is help believe me when I tell you this how much is the rent that the God of heaven cannot pay it how much is it what is the job issue with a single signature a man's life can change but I told you every man who helps you has relatives who are in need it takes a grace and anointing to compel them to leave those who they are connected by blood and come to help you this world is too wicked for any kind of kindness to happen by default I'd like you to cry father in this season I'm ready to receive of the ministry of destiny help us please open your mouth and cry be serious some of you are looking at me pray pray name of Jesus was still praying this prayer session is a very major part of tonight's miracle service and I want you to pray because people are receiving results we are still going to pray over the issue of help let me tell you the truth brothers and sisters you see this ministry by the grace of God is a product of the help of God my life as a person is a product of the help of God it is vain my Bible says to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow he said for he giveth his beloved sleep there are men of God that need help there are anointed people that need help there are intelligent graduates that need help there are married men and women that need help 
the holy spirit is called a helper the mercy of god can create a platform for help i've taught you this we are going to pray if you don't pray it will not happen i want you to be tired of your current level financially you all in god can step in and you have value you are package your value but there is no system of placing a demand you must cry to the heavens lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart prophesy to the north prophesy to the south prophesy to the east prophesy to the west where is the raven that came and fed elijah at butchery my god arise for me as a helper Shaka barakatosh, shaka taka 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 taka, raka taka taka shake tepe ke teke teke le barakata. Shama sonda barakatosh ya taka taka. Help for my family, O God. We cry for your help. Pray for your business. Arise, O God, as a helper. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, then we were like them that dream, and then said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. He said the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again the captivity of Zion, like the streams of the Negev. Lift your voice and labor in the place of prayer. Shabakata kate bashana malakata. Skata plata tose tene ketea. Everything that is alive grows. I provoke growth in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying over the issue of help. Listen. You are going to pray for your loved ones. I know this about Africa. If you rise alone, you will not remain there. <clears throat> in Africa, as you rise, you pray for your loved ones to rise too. If you are the only successful person out of 15 people, they will stretch you and drain you. If Joseph and his brothers were also equally successful, they will not persecute him. But he was one out of many. I saw the sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowing to one person. And the brother said, no way. And they walked him out. My Bible says that a man's enemies shall be the members of his own household. Sometimes it's not binding and casting. Lord, show them mercy too. So that as I'm rejoicing, they will rejoice and leave me in peace. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. I provoke divine help over my loved ones. I prophesy to them that in this season, receive the help of the Lord. Lift your voice and pray for your loved ones financial help spiritual help career help help oh god Hallelujah. Ezekiel 37 and he took me in the spirit of the Lord and he took me to a valley and the Bible says that valley was full of bones and it says the bones were very dry bones don't dry up in one day it means they have been there for a long time we want to visit age-long situations that have refused to go you were born and you met that problem you have become an adult you have met that no 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 it must go that it has stayed long does not mean it's valid say in the name of jesus every dry bone in my life and in my family hear the word of the lord i decree and declare let life come to you now lift your voice and pray prophesy life your father lost his job since 1991 till today he has not gotten a job hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord all ministry hear the word of the
the Lord. All business, hear the word of the Lord. All destiny, hear ye the word of the Lord. The Bible declares that where the word of the King is, there is power. Hallelujah. And he said, Son of man, what seest thou? He said, Son of man, prophesy to these bones. And say, O bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. And all of that, he said, And as I prophesied, as I was commanded, there was a sound. And then a shaking. Notice that the bones began to look for themselves. Meaning they have the ability to restructure themselves. Kabbalah Kota Shikata. And then the bones were there, but there was no life. He says, Son of man, prophesy again to the four winds and say, O wind, breathe upon the slain. And the wind came and breathed upon the bones, and there arose an exceeding great army. Listen, God is able, God is able to turn a man's captivity overnight. He said, Have you ever heard that a city gives birth in one day? But he said as soon as zion travails we know that birth is nine months but something can happen to the rod of aaron and it can board overnight with no root i like you to say lord let the supernatural work in my life in this season business at a supernatural rate ministry at a supernatural rate if it is the lord's doing then it must be marvelous in my eyes lift your voice and pray as soon as Zion travails, as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth a son. As soon as Zion travails, pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The apostle said, I desired once again to come to you, but Satan hindered us. Your breakthrough desired to come to you, but Satan hindered it. Your helpers desired to come to you. Have you seen a situation, Ejimi, where someone is about to bless you but before you reach your helper your enemy got there before you and told them something that turned their minds against you he said the rod of the wicked will not fall upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity please i'd like you to be angry in your spirit and pray we're not here to waste time brothers and sisters this is how victory is legislated and established in the kingdom are we together he says do not be ignorant of the devices the methodologies from the word stratomai the methodology of satan there are methods he said do not let your good be evil spoken of have you seen that that's a method that i call you and satan makes me interpret it as sarcasm I just called you to say how are you and he says so you are mocking me it's, it's important that your good is interpreted as good Jesus went to a city and they didn't receive him do you think they just they went, please carry your healing rubbish and go how many men of God were sent by God to families to help them but the devil changed their perception over that grace say no 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 anything pastor they are all riffraffs they are beggars they are liars they are hungry people they just want my money it's a strategy someone wants to teach you something and help you say no this this guy don't no 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 I desired once again to come to you but Satan hindered us how many people today would have been helped by God are we together now you heard that they are applying jobs but the devil made you feel that just because there are people scamming people everywhere the job that was your own was a scam too and you sat down and said no way and today you are still employed 
we need to cry to God to help us know what is of God and what is not of God because many times they look the same it's the spirit of discernment that will help you five people may be cheating you but the sixth person may be genuine and you can't you join anybody that comes and then you remain poor and broke forever there are families today you never talk about anything good sir they gave us a prayer no 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 that's how that useless prophet came and prophesied and collected my hundred thousand don't bring any man of god here whereas the person who god was sending was like elijah to the widow of zarephath the fact that there is evil does not mean the grace of god is insufficient please listen to me there are people today who have been ordained to be blessed to listen but satan has clouded their minds so that they are cynical about everything that is God. Are we together? I remember a few years ago, I went to a house to pray for them. I was invited and I got to the house. I usually don't go to people's houses to pray for them. And I went to the house and uh, um, I just saw the man, the, the owner of the house, the sarcasm and the look that he was looking at me here they come these hungry young men again i tried to greet him i even held wine for them so that there's no suspicion and that man from what i saw didn't have up to two months to live and i sat down i was talking with the family and the man was just looking you know you know all this do do and leave my house until by the mercies of God, God began to speak to him. At the end of it, it was him that escorted me out. He said, ah, ah, you are, you are, you know, my friend, I collected my, I said, look at this man would have missed this miracle. Brothers and sisters, some of our loved ones, you know what I'm saying, are like that. Their blessings kept passing for the last 10 years. They organize a program near your house. And they say, no, 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 no. Once it is not you, it is not God. It's an error. What of business opportunities just because people have been scammed here just because something came out and something happened they be anything business god forbid don't even mention anything oh sorry dear sir. no 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 don't talk to me and then you remain poor and broke and say god what is wrong he told joshua be strong and of good courage in life it takes audacity to know when your opportunity comes 28 of genesis god came to jacob and jacob out of his fear and cynicism was not ready for that visitation the next verses would lead him to the house of laban where he learned by his pain by chapter 32 he was ready the bible says when god came again he held him he said whether you are not god i will shall hold you it's in your holding i will find out i won't let you go till you bless me he said what is your name he said jacob he said thou shalt no more be called jacob but israel for as a prince you have power with god and you have prevailed and he touched his tie and blessed him and the bible says then the son arose and he called the name of the place peniel for he had met with god face to face i have seen god face to face and my life arose and the bible says then the son arose because it is the breaking of the day that comes with joy for as long as it is night weeping endures are we together i want us to maximize these meetings let's not just come before god and fulfill the ritual and then share the grace and go back it's time for us to move the bible says how forcible are right words you are hearing something that is waking you up and challenging you are we together i know i took i think i took i don't know if it was a whole month or so to pray for destiny help us Hey, Jimmy, your life is stranded until a helper comes. I know this. There was a man who was so crippled he could not walk. And Jesus came to town. He heard about it but could not get there. But certain people came. Your helpers will insist till you are blessed. Listen, a helper is not a well-wisher. A well-wisher is just a sociological being with a sense of empathy. A helper is sent and ordained. His ministry continues till you rise. Some men came to David in a cave called Adullam and they vowed that we must make you king. You are seeing a man who is already weak. No result. 
ah, when your helpers come to you it will look like a charm there will be no reason for them to remain they will call you have you gotten the job sir no sir ah, after okay i'm going to abuja for you and you start saying i hope there's no string attached no 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 i only saw myself helping you in a dream are we together every destiny helper has those in need please hear me graduates hear me oh every space for a job has hundreds of thousands of others connected but when god decides to help you he said jacob have i loved jacob have i loved hallelujah jacob have i loved God changes the rules as if it's unfair to you. Hapa. There is such a dimension. The helper of Israel. When you labor and labor and labor and labor, you'll be lying to say you are giving God glory. There are many testimonies that are just a product of carnality. The way you suffered for that miracle is why you cannot give it when God places a demand. Greed has an explanation. When you, when you acquire by labor and suffering and hardship, you can't give. But if it's freely you received, if freely you will give. Are we together? Your destiny is one helper away. By the privilege of God's grace, I've been privileged to be a destiny helper to many people. And overnight, they got jobs without interview. Just because I happen to know someone in a position of influence. And I say, sir, please. There is someone can you help me i say apostle if it's you that's it the same way someone too has spoken he's the help of god we rise by his help your business will open up by his help everything you have is needed on earth but it takes god to connect you to a man who is unashamed about his need for your grace it is the help of god that brought us here brothers and sisters the help of God there are pastors that need the help of God you can blow balloon and put it around you can do everything and find out that the people come and say it's cold don't we take tea in this church and be sarcastic towards you yet somebody called by God to help you will stand in the rain and say I'm sent and I'm not going anywhere when last did you receive help in your life when last did you receive help Please hear what I'm telling you. Do you know if you do things alone and by yourself, you are not blessed? Even if you succeed in doing it. Help. Help. That God arises for a man and say, young men established within 10 years, but I have chosen promise that in one month, I will do i will walk a walk in your life that if it were told you you would not believe hallelujah a few weeks ago someone called me he was he was he's planning on getting married and he went and collected the list just two or three weeks ago and the list was quite voluminous and it's challenging and he called me that he's trying to seek advice whether it's the will of God or not. I told him, I said, no, that, that is a foolish, that is a foolish concern. Are you seeing, the, you labored with a lady to go and meet her parents just because of the enormity of the list. You are now seeking whether it's the will of God, going behind. What is there to ask whether it's the will of God or not? Listen, I know that it looks like it's just a joke, but it's a serious issue. How many people have gotten high blood pressure because there is no help? No help. Ask the medical doctors, they will tell you. You buy a car alone. You look for food alone. You walk alone. You seek counsel by yourself. You advise yourself. No helper. You see people moving like Cain all around. Nobody to help. Nobody to advise you. Their pastor, Pastor Bolaji. Do you know sometimes Pastor Bolaji would call me 
and say man of god how is everything happening i hope here in the north there's nothing you know this and that you're fine everything and i say oh pastor you're a busy man why do you have to do this and he said we need to encourage ourselves and i said my god help 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 are you ready for god to really help you our message is by the grace of god are being spread on eagle's wings is by the spirit but is through the help of men 70 percent of the invitations where i go to somebody stands maybe in a church council to say bring this man of god i know see all these people from the north no 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 i know this one who knows you enough to speak for you at the gates because there are times you are not permitted to enter the chambers where your value is needed but it will take mordecai uh, mordecai mordecai is outside but mordecai needs to find favor with the king but it will take god using someone inside joseph is in the prison but destined for the throne a wine presser needs to split your case before the king one more time father listen listen whoever must rise up and be an instrument to shift me to the next level please send them to send them my way i want i i cry that you pray with all your heart men can be helped of god my help cometh from the lord there were many widows in zarafat they all needed help but to none was elijah sent except a widow in zarafat how about the rest there were many widows also needing help but God chooses to send a prophet to just one of them hallelujah the last prayer point and then we'll pray here the Bible says according as his divine power please listen hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness to life i will never be the man of god who will teach you to live a defeated life at the expense of your spiritual growth no no there are matters that pertain to life there are matters that pertain to godliness his divine power covers them all so i can excel in the matters that pertain unto godliness and still excel in the matters that pertain unto life i should not serve god and tell my children to go and beg a neighbor for food he says since i was young now i am old i have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread you know many believers in their carnality and the depravity of wisdom they think that when you begin to focus about the matters of life it's a sign that you are becoming less spiritual i can tell you from experience that the pain that comes from the issues of life can make you ungodly are we together the ladies that go into prostitution do they go into prostitution with poor men the young men that join occults all these cult groups vibrant young people and the next thing you see they are in a devilish cult somewhere it's easy for us to criticize them but you will be surprised that it's from that occult they are feeding their families compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity as a man of god i must be compassionate enough about your situation thank god for your spiritual life but i want you to do well that's what success means are we together i have food in my house right now but do you have food only a wicked man of god will enjoy and rise at the expense of the rising of others a true shepherd lays down his life doesn't climb on the ship some of you sow into my life i must teach you how others will also sow into your life it can't be all about me you are bringing seeds you are blessing me and i'm seeing the benefit of it to my spiritual life but how about you i came with a passion tonight if one person rises in a ministry alone is that a blessing no he called many sons to glory not a few 
there are many of you with business ideas there are many of you with ministries there are many of you desperately waiting for a job and men are beginning to say where is your god you are no longer young you have been praying and fasting and doing all of this if you cannot bring fruits that befit your work with god we will stop you from coming for koinonia or we will stop you from doing this and god wants to arise and prove himself mighty why won't you pray well when you eat well why won't you pray well when you the receipt of your children's school fees is being paid for i have the privilege by the mercies of god to support many families here and sometimes I, my eyes are full of tears after a powerful meeting and i see someone standing and say sir my children once upon a time two dear ladies here for five years a jimmy just to buy jam form beautiful wonderful godly ladies and that's exactly what satan wants after the prayer after falling under the anointing you get up and your needs remain and you sit in the night and say look can't i do something the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity many of us have dipped our hands in iniquity simply because of the hunger that is in your belly was it not hunger that took israel to egypt talk to me was it prosperity that took them there no there was hunger in the land and israel had to go to egypt to look for food they went to egypt and stayed until they became slaves when they began to say it's time for our exodus pharaoh looked at them and said uh-huh you are beginning to find some level of convenience don't give them straw is because you are giving them straw that they have the time to even call upon the name of the lord leave them to find straw by themselves and they say moses don't go to pharaoh again every time you want to rise it's like a it's like a thermometer the devil tries to make sure that there is a harsh climate economically and otherwise i stand to tell you you can be of influence you can be prosperous and you can be spiritual jesus grew in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men the lamb's wife is a balanced woman he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said and he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breadth equal in depth any doctrine that does not preach that balance is not presenting the lamb's wife you are showing something else the lamb's wife is a balanced city the church of god must arise and help believers to do well in life this you see a lot of people prayer warriors torn trouser torn destiny you just see them move around you now go to say i want to marry you and the girl's father says, if i ever see you near the corridor of my house he said but i praise i say so what we keep mocking the name of the lord there are many people do you know that the times that i've had counseling people a major reason why people backslide and leave god is that they get to a level in life now where the matters of life stand glaring before them and they are surprised that as spiritual as they are now the church started as a prayer meeting and you were doing well healing the sick now suddenly you have gotten to a size where you need rent and you just realize that per use is hundred thousand your prayer life just starts going down slowly all of a sudden you find out that your wife is pregnant and they say just bring something just to test and make sure she's fine say i don't have anything say well the god that we serve is a victorious god are we together many of you have the hearts to support the kingdom but the means is not there listen to me listen to me for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave in life i give you a guarantee for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave the anointing comes upon you but alongside the anointing is capacity for influence it took a man of influence called joseph of arimathea to get jesus from the cross it was not a prayer warrior that brought jesus from the cross a prayer warrior supervised his birth but a wealthy man supervised his resurrection we're a ministry of prayer we're a ministry that fasts we're a ministry of the word but we must be a ministry with results that are all around 
and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things not some things the last prayer point like naaman you may be the captain of a great army the bible says he conquered valiantly but he was crippled the one or two areas in your life i'm giving you a personal time of supplication now one or two areas in your life that must balance this equation to present christ well let's cry together and say god you have done well in this area and i thank you but lord i cry that in this area may your glory be represented in my life please lift your voice and pray please pray in my life keep praying be glorified be glorified cry to the lord in my life be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor. I just want to say thank you, Lord. You get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. Keep praying. I just want to say thank you. So many my life. Stretch your hands over the prayer requests and let's begin to pray. This is a representation of our pain. It's a representation of our needs. Just cry to the Lord. my God and my King the one who heareth them that call upon you arise in your majesty and turn these requests into testimonies it is unto you that answers prayer that we have come and Lord in the name that is above all names we provoke your integrity over these issues 
lord there are issues here that only god can solve some of the issues represented here are life and death issues we will search for you and we will find you we will find you with all our hearts we will lift our hands to you in worship and we will worship with all my heart lord i will search for you and i will find you i will find you with all my heart and i will lift my voice to you in worship i will worship You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. I speak over this request in the name of the Lord God of heaven like he has done it before may every request here before God be turned now into supernatural testimonies may God turn every situation here to supernatural testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ just give me two three minutes and we're done I want to speak over your life now when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you hold my hands everything Presented here, fresh fire upon your altar, fresh fire upon your altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Every issue of concern in your career, in your business, and in your life, I send the word of God like a messenger to reproduce the Garden of Eden over your issue in the name of Jesus Christ. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he maketh even his enemy to be at peace with him. I declare, whoever must be at peace must be at peace with you to rise. I command peace to happen between you. Master, we have toiled all night. He said, nevertheless, at thy word. I want to prophesy to you. 
where you failed before go back again with an anointing go back with the grace that makes men succeed in the name of Jesus Christ and the Lord visited Sarah and she called the name of her son Isaac he said all those who hear about this will laugh with me I introduce you to a new season of laughter 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 turn again our captivities like the streams of the Negev I pray for you it will be like a dream of the night the way God will turn your life around anyone here under the plague of death any family represented here that the devil has vowed that they will not see the end of the year together in joy I decree oh death where is thy sting and oh grave where is thy victory I command death to pass from over you in the name of Jesus he said let the people praise me and then the earth shall yield every crown can yield I command your crown to produce for you Amen. Daniel chapter 2 and when you read from verse 28 downwards he said but there is a God that revealed secrets I pray for you the secret the mystery that you need to hold on to in this season that will shift you to a new level the kingdom truth the revelation of the spirit because the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not the truth you need to lay your hands upon may my God open your eyes to see it and the Bible says that you shall be called all nations shall call you blessed and you shall be called a delightsome land it's called Beulah and Hephzibah a land that is desirable and Isaac looked at his sons and said the smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed I decree and declare may the fragrance of heaven that calls for favor to men may it come upon your life now in the name of Jesus Christ it says thou causes men to ride over our heads we walk through fire and through water but thou brought us into a wealthy place I decree and declare help even in the area of finances may it arise for you I say it again help even in the area of finances may it arise for you finally I pray for every family represented here and that includes those connecting with us online it doesn't matter what part of the world you are following from in the name that is above all names the Lord has made a, declare, a declaration that this is our year of signs a sign and a wonder is a miracle with a message on it therefore I decree and declare may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders I say it again may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders in the name of Jesus wave your hands and give Jesus praise thank you Jesus hallelujah paradventure you are here in this place tonight everyone please listen please no moving around let's honor the name of the Lord you are here you have seen what the Lord has done You've heard me teach and the Holy Spirit began to convict you to tell you that the time had come for you to make Jesus Lord of your life and to take him seriously. I want to give you that opportunity right now. There are people here saying, Apostle, I've heard about God. I've been around the things of God. I've been around church. I have a Christian name. My father may even be a man of God. My mother is an intercessor. But I, I declare my need for God tonight. And then there are others here who are saying, Apostle, I have given my life to Christ. But at one point or the other, I just found my life going haywire. And I'm saying, I need Jesus. If you belong to any of these categories, I'd like you to make a bold step. 
overflow one overflow two the main auditorium you can walk and come out here and then overflow three you can go in front of your projector stand if you are there please make your way quickly let's honor them as they come the holy spirit is convicting someone don't wait for someone to come be the first god bless you koinonia you are appreciating them in the name of jesus christ there has to be someone making a decision for jesus god bless you god bless you keep clapping as they come win that war tonight win that war god bless you as you come it says he that cometh to him he will in no wise cast away make your way make your way to this front god bless you keep coming we have one minute for you if you're coming from outside please double up your steps very quickly very quickly say call for total surrender lord you gave me your life i'm giving you mine right now are there people still coming make your way very quickly apostle i'm not sure if i'm born again or not i've been around the things of god but i'm not exactly sure join them join them quickly when the titanic sank there were only two names those who were lost and those who were saved no in-betweens make your way quickly hallelujah i salute every one of you if you are joining them please join them very quickly overflow three you can move to the front of your projector those online giving their hearts to jesus just follow and pray along with us by faith in the name of jesus now i want you to lift your right hand sincerely you're not reciting a poem you are speaking to the lord and he's here listening to you say after me lord jesus say it again say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for me i believe that you were raised up for my justification tonight i hand over my life to you and i receive your life in return i declare that the power of sin the power of the flesh the power of satan is broken over my life i declare that i'm a child of god i am saved the grace to walk in victory to walk in liberty is mine now in jesus name keep your hands lifted jesus i present to you the ones you died for we thank you for bringing these ones out no man can come to the father except you draw them lord jesus i pray that the grace that keeps men in this kingdom let it be supplied your people right now in the name of jesus christ i declare over your life and i decree that you are going forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ every challenge you came here with as a result of this new life let new victories come for you in jesus name i pray a big congratulations to you thank you so much now i want you to follow someone waving his hands there's a gentleman waving his hands there can i see who is waving his hands now please very quickly i'd like you to follow him all of you in concert just follow the gentleman there'll be a group of people to just meet with you very quickly and very briefly let's honor them Hallelujah. hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you